unicorns! Welcome back to Mia's Life. Today is the first video I'm filming in the UK after like two years. I have traveled to the UK. If you follow me and my family on Family Fizz, then you know everything that happened. We actually flew in this really big storm, so that was an interesting experience. I'm feeling nervous because I'm getting something big done. It's like something I've been talking about for a long time and I, you guys are always asking me about it and I just, eventually I was thinking, I was like, you know what? You only live once, but it is gonna be painful. Like, you know, a little bit scared. I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour of the room which I'm staying at. Something I really love about this room is it actually has like an, I keep calling it an open wardrobe, but my parents are laughing at me. It's, it's just a clothes rack. A week before we came here, I was getting really into like watching thrifting videos. I'm obsessed, like, which actually, um, ignore that pile of clothes over there. That's actually for my next video. But what I was really excited about coming to UK is there's so many thrift stores here and they, you can find really good stuff, especially cause we're in London. You can like go to like the more like posher areas and find like expensive stuff. So I'm gonna give you a look at my outfit today. Um, I got these boots, which I bought recently, cause you know, feet are cold in this cold weather, which I'm not used to. Then I got jeans on, which are very baggy and way too long. So I have to literally roll them up like five times. And it makes me wonder, are the jeans really long or am I just short? I think it's both, to be honest. Then I've got a white top underneath and this on and a bag. I walk very fast and so does my mum. So you tend to get quite hot, even if it's really cold. So it's just like when you first step out, then you'll be cold and then you start walking, then you warm up. I know I'll be good in this when I get walking, but do I wanna risk being freezing for like five minutes? I'm also wondering if I should bring my crochet. I feel like I'm not really gonna be doing my crochet, but I'm gonna be making the cutest little cardigan, which has like a tie up bit at the front. And my sister was like, you have all this yarn and instead of making something warm with it, you're just making something with loads of holes in it, which is just for a fashion accessory. You know what I'm saying? You kind of got a good point there, Sienna, but I'm just gonna carry on making it because this tutorial is adorable. But I actually only started that last night and I don't know how I've managed to do all that. I mean, admittedly, I was watching like videos for two hours and like making that at the same time. So that, that probably did take me two hours, but it's just like, cause I just started it last night. I'm glad I decided against the coat because the weather is actually perfect in this. Yeah, it's It fresh. was weird. I feel like the first day we got here, I was absolutely freezing, but at the same time it was because of the storm. So I don't know if it's because I had to adjust or if it was because of the storm. But I wait, it was freezing and now I'm good. But mom is actually gonna be going and getting some piercings today as well, right? Yeah. Are you getting one or like what? I think I might be getting two. Okay. Maybe two or three, but I'm getting loads of my um, jewelry moved around as well and some uh, new okay, pieces. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, we need to go to the piercing place, which she's going to, to get the jewelry clean before she gets it moved around. Yeah, they She's have been going on and on to me about how she wants to get like all her ears. Like I've yeah. heard so much like for the past like three yeah. weeks. It's really like, I find it interesting. Tash. Yeah. And like I first went to Maria, 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 <laughs> Maria Tash in Dubai and um, they didn't have any stores in Latin America. We were, there That's was why one, you're excited to come to London. Yeah and so Maria Tash has She's a store really excited. <laughs> in Liberty and it's really like Tudor style building. Look at yeah, it. Yeah it looks very, very British. Yeah it does doesn't it? Mum is currently choosing her jewellery. Me and Cora are sitting on these very comfy chairs. Well, you're sitting in your push chair, but you want to get out, but I'm scared that then you might start trying to steal all the jewelry, Cora. You're playing with my hair claw, aren't you? So wait, I'm taking a side. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I want you to choose the that right one. Snake. What? There's a snake? It's not snakes in England, Cora. Not in London. No, no snakes in London. A snake. A London. Ta -da! Ta da! Beautiful. And then the other, yeah, I've got loads of things rearranged. Yeah, it did look You've got two new piercings, the third yeah. and the helix. And then loads moved around. The helix was due to my recommendation. Oh. I said that she could get it because I feel like out of all my ear piercings, the helix is probably my favorite. Anyways, I haven't properly we said like now. what piercing I'm gonna be getting. I'm nervous and I also need the toilet right now. Should so we, I need a, we need to go. Yeah, my appointment's in like two minutes. It takes two minutes to get there. Right. And also right, I need let's the go. toilet. Let's go, man. And I don't want to do you know how yeah, it's that way. No flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the morning. Mia. Mia. Right here. Anyo? Yeah.
Um, a bit, yeah, Me, it's now coming fit fam, and um, yeah, shall we find out what happened? Okay, they gave me a sweet for free. Why? No reason, I think it was oh. just part of the treatment. But you it's took so cute. long, I was worried that you'd passed you out. Go, I got in, yeah. and then she like started drawing on me, and we were speaking about the piercing, and there was a bit of like a complication because basically, I have a really small belly button. <laughs> like, you know how when I got my tragus done, they were also worried because I have a really small tragus. Just in general, I'm like very small. Like, I'm only five foot two. Everything is too long on me and like my hands and everything. So I had to get something which wasn't what I was actually planning. Oh, so I actually what? got something a bit different. What? I just got a nipple. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think if I went in there and got that? I'd be disgusted. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, but how? it's funny because afterwards she was talking to me and I was like, like I've always wondered, can you breast, like I don't want to get a nipple piercing. I'm not thinking about it, don't worry mom. Yeah. Uh, not even when I'm old enough. But I just always wondered, can you breastfeed if you have a nipple piercing? And she said, yeah, you can. You just have to obviously uh, take okay. the jewelry out. I didn't tell her this, but I started to get like a bit panicky and like spaced out. But then I sat down in the bed and lay down and then I like chilled and then she did it. And I feel like the idea of this piercing is way worse than it actually is. Like it wasn't even <laughs> my most painful piercing. Tell me. It wasn't my most painful piercing, but because it has to go through your skin, it like freaks you out what? a bit. What have you had? Betty. I oh. have another one done. Oh, that's so Because my upper bit is too small. Wow. So I had the, the lower that one. Out. Thanks. Yeah, good. it freaks like the idea of it freaks you out because it's like your belly, but actually it wasn't my most painful piercing. <laughs> wow. Well, but yeah. That looks good. Very good, that's what I got done. Oh, that's good that they knew what yeah. they were doing. Yeah. Wow. And the lady great. also had her lower part of the belly done. Okay. So she showed me what it would look oh, like. Oh wow. But I always thought I would get the top, but it's too small. You need to keep that. So clean. she was worried about that like, if like I put like any like heavy jewelry, like I'd have to have yeah. really small jewelry, if not it would like stretch down and like scar. Well, you need to so keep like, that clean yeah. here and make sure you mm -hmm. don't get any bum fluff stuck in it. How'd you get that in you your know belly button? Don't you guys call like that fluffy stuff that goes in your belly button bum fluff? No, because it's not from your bum, mum. It's oh, belly I don't fluff. Have... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't even hurt that much. Like, I yeah. feel like my cartilage piercings in my ears are way worse. I got in some comfy, these are actually kind of supposed to be like mid-waisted. She said I need to try and wear low-waisted. And I, I'm, I don't really do low-waisted. It's kind of difficult to buy low-waisted because I feel like everyone loves high-waisted now. But I am absolutely in love. Like, I love it, guys. And I love the jewelry that I got in it already. I feel like it takes longer to do the piercing than, like, through your ear because when it's you and just like the thought of it as well. But if you've been thinking about getting your belly pierced for a long time, like I have been, and you're, like, scared because of the pain, It'll be fine. Like, honestly, you'll be fine. I did it, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Anyways, guys, now I've got the scary part because I have to get my dad's reaction. I'm gonna film a TikTok, so make sure you follow me on my TikTok. I'm Mia Life Official. Ah! 